everybody, I'm Delightfully Danny, and today I'm going to be um, doing an unboxing and review of a uh, Japan Cray. Basically, it has a bunch of like cute little Japanese like treats and stuff in it, and I'll be unboxing it with less RNG. I'm excited to eat some stuff and try it because I love this stuff. Okay, um, so good. I'm gonna give it a little open. Get it open it. Shall we open it together on one, two? Oh, um, it's upside down. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, what's in there? I can't see. There's a box in front of my face. There's a box in front. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, things are already falling. Oh, it's falling apart just like my life. So we got well lots done. of cute stuff. We did it. Lots of goodies. Let's see if I can do it without dropping. Without <laughs> dropping. <laughs> It's just, it's just a brochure, don't worry about it. The snack survived, and that's the main thing. Snack survived. Yeah, okay, we're gonna set this down. So the first thing I'm seeing is a, a little little poop emoji, a little poopy guy. A, oh a yeah, little, yeah he's, he's, Kimi. he's a little yeah. poop man. I don't know, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a jelly maybe? Unchi gummy. Yeah, it's a gu it's a gummy. Okay, he smells like kind of like root beer. Here, okay, I'm only gonna take a little bite of him. Okay, I'm gonna, take... I'm gonna go full hog. I'm gonna eat the, eat the whole poop. Hold on, I'm gonna take the... Mm. Mm hmm. Like, it's like a root beer barrel, but squishy. It tastes kind of aniseedy. Like. It's a bit aniseedy. It's got like a little bit of licorice kind of kick to it. According to the book, it says, Have no fear. This poop shaped gummy is actually cola flavored for fun. Doesn't it See, that's what I told you. Cola. It's it's root beer. They didn't specify what cola is root beer. Okay, there's a and bunch of. To uh... Keep the packaging in good enough shape, so this is going on the fridge. Yeah, mine's pretty good no. too. I'm gonna put little poop man after I eat him. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him up there. So there's a bunch of little <laughs> tiny candies, like yeah, really can, really small ones. Sizes, so. so this one it looks like a like a like a playing card. It, it looks like maybe there. it's a chocolate. Come it's on, it's like a on, spade. Go, go. I wonder if I got the same one. I'm assuming I did, but there's so much in here I can't find it. Anymore. I know there's like, so much. Nip. It was right on the top for me. Yeah, for me it is not. Oh there's no, so... I got all this different. His name is Jack. And then there's a, another gummy. It's uh, one of those little hands that you used to slap kids with got, in school. I got this gummy, yeah, I got that one. Muckin, muckin. Okay, muckin. let's taste the hand. This tiny but mighty gummy brings grape goodness to your taste buds. Grape goodness, oh my God, I love that. Okay, oh my God, it's falling apart. I can't even get it out. I can't even open it, I'm dumb. Oh, okay, I'm gonna eat the whole hand because I, I'm not afraid to put a hand in my the mouth. The whole hand, the whole fist. Yeah, because like, it's not poop. I wasn't, I'm not as scared of this. <laughs> less, less apprehensive to the not poop. I'm less apprehensive to eat not poop. Okay, so here it is, out of the packaging. Come on, autofocus, do your thing. Or not, that's fine, I want you to. It sticks right to your hand. Hey, okay, God. here we go. Stick to your head. I mean, it's like grapes, it's sour grapes. Yeah, it tastes, uh, it tastes just like what you would expect a grape candy to taste like. Okay, so I don't know if you have this little dude, so. Oh, I found it. I found the kanban. Kanban yeah, tutorial. I knew it was a chocolate. See, I, women's kanban. intuition, I know. Okay. His name is Jack. I don't know if that's his actual name, but it says Jack on the back of it. This is really bad. You know the TV show 24? A what? The TV show that's called 24? No. Oh, this is okay. The joke's gonna be lost on you. But for those who watch a Mayan, there's a Japanese commercial for 24, and the main character's uh -huh. name is Jack Bauer, and the, the the song is just like they have a Japanese version. And the song is just like Oriwa Jacku Bauer. He's like, Ooh, I'm Jack Bauer, and I'm sad, basically. And it's like that's how you advertise there's a, a DVD. Cute, there's a cute little note on it. I don't know what it says, but it's a cute I, little note. I couldn't. Uh, I can't even open mine. Oh my god! Like it's right here. I'm inept. You mean up, it's upside down? First of all. <laughs> Oh no, something messy. Oh, I can't read that. Okay, oh my god, I can't get the chocolate out. Okay, there we go. I can't even open yeah. mine. You're doing better than me. It smells like it smells like it's probably dark dark chocolate. Mmm. Do you like dark chocolate or white chocolate? I do. I don't like white chocolate at all. I, I prefer dark chocolate. Give me like 80%. It's good. You eat it and uh, I'll get back to you when I actually manage to fucking get mine open. Oh, you're not missing much. <laughs> It's um, it's all gone. it tastes almost like uh, like baker's chocolate that has okay. like absolutely nothing done to it, like no, like not a lot of flavor. Like, it's like it, but this would be good melting chocolate. Mm. Like, oh, I broke mine in half, but I will. It's got it had a club uh -huh. on it. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Hmm. But now yep. when you eat it, you'll see it tastes like there's like... It's like cooking chocolate. It melts very easily. It's, it's cooking chocolate. Taste. Yeah, I don't really... Okay, so my stick is, say, open house and coffee. Open house and dog coffee. So the next thing... I, I, I want to try to get these tiny things. What's, what what the did the sign say? Uh, the, the, it said, craving chocolate. This piece of chocolate is also sealed with a fun bonus signboard illustration. So it's like a famous... Shoot. Some kind of signboard that you got. Okay, I'll right. keep the signboard forever because apparently it's famous. So we'll get, put the signboard on my signboard. Signboard's well. Welcome. There we go. <laughs> you have this little marshmallow dude? I do. He's right here. Okay. Choco. Ch choco dai something. So I'm assuming so it's country, probably like a marshmallow with chocolate in it, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Mine has a tail. A tail? Look at He has a little tail. Look at him. He's like a, like oh a God, really fat spermy. Had one too many chocolates. Mine has okay, no tail. So. Oh, no, he does, he's a little, like, tiny, tiny little, I think we see it camera, but tiny little tail. Yeah, tiny little one. tiny little tail. Tiny little okay, one. Okay, you ready? Yep. Dink, dink. Look at my... I was right. The marshmallow with chocolate in it. So that's a daifuku. Choco daifuku. That's what it said. Mm. This daifuku features a plush marshmallow outside in creamy chocolate filling, as expected. That's really good. That chocolate mm -hmm. That chocolate is a lot nicer than the other chocolate. It was. Mm. It's like creamy, like actually has sweetness to it. Like Yeah. Oh, that feels like, almost like a fondue chocolate. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I mm. love that. That's that what I would, is... would order again. Choco daifuku. Mm. Okay. This one, I was I was really excited for this one when I opened it up and oh, I yeah? saw it. This made me laugh. I have no idea what's going on, but there's a girl getting married and there's a guy crying and there's little pills. So I feel like this <gasps> is like candied antidepressants. <laughs> I feel I feel like they're candied antidepressants. Look at it. Oh, what the I have it? <laughs> they're, they're candied antidepressants. Because like, you have oh, little pills on the bottom of the ring. Oh. I have no idea what it says. There's a girl getting married and there's a ring and there's this dude that's just really in his feelings with some pills at the bottom. In there so i'm assuming these are like candy i can tell you the third kanji is the kanji for hit like strike oh maybe his wife was abusive and she left him oh bye <laughs> That's the story I'm sticking with. That's the story okay, you're sticking so, with. So I'm opening it up and they are like little They're little like jelly beans. Yellow jelly beans, yeah. Yep, let me see. Oh, <laughs> not jelly beans. <laughs> Not jelly beans. I was expecting soft. You just that was a crunch. It's an <laughs> audible crunch. So what's the, what is um, it? What taste? What taste is it? They're kind of citrusy sweet. Okay. Um, not jelly bean. Um, no really taste on the outside. Oh. You got a really like almost like a the like lemonade flavor. They're okay. Good. They're really good. They're they're almost like um. Really big Tic Tacs, almost. Tac. They're good, though. Okay, I think we finished up all the... the there's a couple of the small ones in here. There's one very small one. There's, like, little yep. french fries. Do you have these little french fries? Uh, can I see what they look like? Uh, the red one. Maybe I... they're pretzel sticks. Maybe they're pretzel sticks. They look like pretzel sticks. They look like they have salt under them or something crunchy. Yeah. Under that. Well, let's find out. And then afterwards, I'll read what they are. Yummy, yummy. Oh, they smell strong. They are sweet. They are not savory. Those are. Oh, those are um. What is that shit? It's like um, like a like a caramel taffy, like the hard caramel taffies, like like that mm. hard caramel candy that like you bust your fucking teeth on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, why did yeah, why did I get this? Yep. Yeah, let's okay, try it. Well, let's break our teeth. Big mouth. It's ultra soft. Not hard. Oh, you know what? I'm getting like pancakes. There's a reason for that because the snack is called a maple TTP from Morinaga's long-selling chocolate brand. A new flavor has been released with this addition. This twig or maple flavor uses white chocolate and maple sugar powder. So it tastes like pancakes, basically. It tastes like maple syrup. It, like, it tastes exactly like pancakes. I like, I, I'm like, I'm gonna eat them all because they're actually Yeah, they're really good. good. They're like, these are solid. Mm -hmm. I would buy like a whole big thing of them. Maybe it'll also I'm last until 2023. Mm -hmm. When's the expiration? These are good. Mm. Really, those really are solid. like these. All right, I'm gonna let you pick what we do next. All right, let's go for, mm, I want to get this one out of the way because I think it'd be funny. I'm gonna go for this one, this cylindrical item, okay. this guy here. He's cute. Umai. I like him. Umai. He says he's Umai. Umai he's at the top. Really Delicious. Cute. Open we go. Oh, it smells weird. I Looks weird too. Like it's a savory snack. I'm kind of like... What is this? It's soft. Um, okay, it, there's like a hole in it. Yeah, it's, it's empty in the middle. It smells weird. It's like you get a cheesel, but made the cheesel really long. Yeah, but there's no cheese. No cheese. <laughs> and there, it looks like there's maybe like some type of herb, maybe like parsley on it. Mm, maybe. All right. All right. No smell. It's, gre it's greasy too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's greasy it's, as heck. It's greasy. All no. right, well. We'll try it and then I'll, I'll say what it is. Let's get high cholesterol. That come on. Yeah, it's a cheesel. It's a cheat snack. It's a lot better than the last one of these I had, which was like it's like it's like sweet but savory. Mm, okay. Like when you first bite it, it's like sweet in the morning. And then the, the cheese kicks in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So
So this was the Pollocky German potato. They're flavored with a seasoned mix of bacon and potatoes. So the flavor of bacon and potatoes. I don't get bacon at all. I get a little bit, but I get more cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm still curious. They didn't say Why does someone go, hmm, bacon and potatoes flavored chips? Let's go. I mean, <laughs> granted, in Australia, we have like beef taco flavored chips, chicken savlaki flavored chips. Lots of weird chips here. Still. It's like a dill pickle flavored chip. It's not too bad. So the last one of these crates had one of these as well, but the flavor was like corn patage, which I just don't like. And I was like, ugh, this is just bad. I did not like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for... Uh, let's go for this one. It reads as... Cordoda soda. So it's gonna be a ramen or soda flavored snack. Uh, it says they're juicy on the back. Juicy. 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 So it's gonna be like um soft jelly snacks, I, like, I think. I like this little guy at the bottom. Look at him. He he's just so chilling there, yeah? He's so... He's, he's like lost. There he is, little guy there. He's just hanging out. Oh, eyes are open. They're he's white. Pungent. Pungent? Okay. Very, they're very... Good pungent or bad pungent? <laughs> Bad pungent. Oh, that smells no, like... Very... It's just very strong. It's not bad it's pungent. Like, it's just like... No, it's not. It's just like... Um, potent. Almost like watered down blueberry slushy. Mmm. Yeah, it's just like... Or it's like it's, raspberry. It's ramen. Yeah. It's a ramen smell, which is expected. So these are like a soft and like yeah, gummy. Yeah, they're very soft. You can squish them. They're squish, supposed squish, to be squish, squishy, squish. so I want them squish, to squish, squirt squish. in my mouth. And I'm going to be upset if they don't. One way to find so, out. That's one way to find out. Let's go. Like Clean. It's a bit of squish. <laughs> Someone is unsure what to think about that. It's really... It's got sour. <laughs> The sound. I like these. You may not. Nope. Nope. No. No, no. go. This does not have cat made Sama seal of approval. Absolutely not. Ugh. I like them a lot. I don't. I don't like them. For, for me, it's a texture thing. Because mm. like, oh, the texture. Okay, so the, the mouth feels no good. I feel like it's supposed to be wet, but it's not, and it just stays together. Like I want it to fall apart, but it doesn't. It's a bit too gelatinous. It just, yes, it's like gelatin that like just isn't done all the way. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I, just, I don't, I don't like it. Don't like it. Either way, it was, it. as said, Kororo Soda. Just released in Japan, this gummy is inspired by the popular Kororo gummies. I don't know what those are. Usually only in fruit flavors, this gummy is super soft, like an overripe fruit with a flavorful shot of ramen soda inside that'll burst in your mouth. All right, you can pick the next one because I, I picked one you okay, didn't like. Um, um, nom, nom, nom. Let's do, uh... The porky? Por porky? Porky? Porky. Por porky. Porky. Look at the chef down the bottom. He's so happy. He's just like, He's yeah, so eat my food. Oh my God, I thought he was a pig. He's not a pig. <laughs> Put the Janago, it's not a pig. All right, so it says on it, yeah, poriki, which is what it says in Japanese as well. This is going to be some kind of potato cute. snack as expected. I feel like it looks like potato and... Chaman potato. Potato and bacon. Potato and bacon. Yeah, look at that open near the mic for the... Yeah. Oh. Let's give him a try. All right, eat the hummus. It's like a breadstick. I'm not getting the bacon. You getting the bacon? No. I'm just getting garlic bread. Mm. I love garlic bread, so that's fine. But maybe if I eat more yeah, of them at I'm once. Just, I'm just getting garlic bread. I mean, they're good. I would definitely binge eat these at nighttime. Mm. It's one of those, like, um, if you have, like, if I have, have like a bowl, like a big bread. bowl down for like a movie, these, you just snack on them. These are like Fritos. I don't seek out Fritos, but I will eat them all if they're available. But they're good. I like they're good. them. Yeah, they're good. All righty. Um, do you want to pick or do you want me to pick? Oh, uh, you go ahead and pick. All right, let's go for this guy. Oh, like, um, oh, it God. smells nice. It smells nice. Let's pull one out. There you go. Yeah, it's like a twisty. Like a big it, old it twisty. Looks, it looks better on your like end, yeah. Cheeto. It looks like a Cheeto. It looks like a naked Chivo with che Cheeto with herbs on it. Here we go. Blink. I don't know how well, I feel. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it tastes like somebody walked by me and I got a mouthful of their perfume. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that description. I feel like, unlike the pretzel sticks from before, where you could snack on those a lot, I could snack on a small amount of these. I would need these as like a small serve. I couldn't, I couldn't eat a whole bong. I really think this is like an acquired sort of mm. thing. Like, you would really need to love hazel to love these. I will I finish mean, these, but I will seal basil. them up and I'll eat them over like a week. Yeah, same. Like, I will eat these, but not right now. <laughs> yeah. So what's the description? So it is Quakea basil or basil and Genevieve's cheese scones. My popular chip brand Quakea munch on these richly flavored crunchy 
one she scones. This is a scone. It's a chip, this full. The great basil, cheese, and garlic taste. You won't be able to put the bag down. The spice bag, we just put the bag down. Well, we both just put it down. We did. Oh, we did like it. It was good. It was good. It just, you know, I wouldn't. I, I, I think wouldn't. that's really, it's kind of like a designer chips, which is interesting. It I think that's like, like really cool. Like Gucci chips. Yeah, Gucci like, chips. It's like wired taste. Like, um, I wonder if, I don't think that's something you'd see too frequently or see at all in like Western markets. Yeah, no, no. We are, we are much more like. Where's the salt and vinegar? Yeah. Fuck you. I, salt and vinegar chips are my favorite. It's my favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> I love salt and vinegar. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Pocky sticks. Little blue oh. Pocky? Pocky. These are really cute, actually. Oh, Pocky. Now, it was These... actually on the 11th of November was Pocky Day, by the way. So that was oh, like happy just... Pocky day. Happy Pocky Day. Even though it's like the 13th now, but whatever. Happy Pocky Day. Okay, let's open her up. Done by Gleeko. Thanks, Gleeko yeah, Running Man in Dawson Glory. Oh, wow. It's just like, wow. Just like a bunch of... Okay, cool. Chocolate biscuit special. Chocolate special biscuit. What a fancy this is. And before I drop it everywhere. It's I appreciate that. It's very the cute. The packaging is a very cute. These are thick. Oh, there's only two in each pack. Oh, so there's 10 packs and there's two inside it. They are very, very thick. It smells like an almond. Like, it smells like you would expect mm. an almond treat would smell like. Didn't know they made pocket, um, pocket like this. So, I mean, the best way to figure out how something tastes is to just put it in your mouth. So, I'm going to put it in my mouth. When in Rome. Mm. Yo, it is amazing. There's so much of the like chocolate stuff on it. Mm. It feels like a luxurious snack. It does. These are dangerous. I could eat all of them in one sitting. That's bad. These are really good. Alrighty, so let's let's keep it with the common Merlin ones. Let's go for the Kit Kat next. So your Kit Kat might be different to mine. Oh, you got the same kind as me. I have an apple pie. Yep, I also have apple pie. Apple pie Halloween. It's got booby ghosts on it. It's a Halloween Kit Kat. So they're like purple for some reason. Oh, well, time to get cursed. Need some apple pie up. Um, wow, as soon as you open it, it is Whoa. Like apple pie. Oh my lord. Yeah. That is apple pie and a half. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is interesting. In America, your fun size versions of Kit Kats always come in like one Kit Kat. So you'll just have like two. Oh, okay. No, it's, I, I see two more so places. It's like, yeah. it's like one full size Kit Kat. Oh, wow. No, we don't really get that here either. So it's hella purple. Oh, wow. When you open it up, you can that really smell That smell is smell strong. Like, oh, my Lord. You can smell like, and the, the milk, the, the chocolate is melting really fast too. But like, no, it really smells like apple pie. Like mm. you can smell the cinnamon and like all the like the spices and stuff. So you had the option it's, of getting the these or you might have gotten the autumn chestnut one instead. I've had the chestnut one before when I was in I Japan. Would... I'm happy I got the apple pie because I'm like, I've had the chestnut one. Shall we try it? All right, let's try it. Don't break mine. Ooh. Yo, you seem very happy. That's just apple pie. This is so good. I love apple pie. It's just apple pie. Just apple pie. This is great. They nailed it. This literally tastes exactly like taking taking a bite of apple pie. And then like the chocolate kind of doubles as like, yeah. like whipped cream or like, uh, like ice cream. The chocolate is there, but it's not too strong. You mostly get apple pie flavor. Those are really good. Like, Those are really good. But let's see what it says about them. These limited edition Kit Kats, they're getting here, so don't eat them all too quickly, are apple pie flavor, but they're also purple. With an accurate taste of what a real slice of apple pie tastes like, which is dead on. Tastes very much like an apple pie. But they're getting here, the limited edition. So don't go smashing them all in one sitting, or you won't be getting more. That is so messed up. You're going to have to Make order some more. Not limited edition. Make them a forever edition. These are delicious. You should be able to like get them off like Sugway Mart or something. Those are amazing. Yeah, those are really good. You normally get Pocky and like Kit Kats in most of these and yeah neither of those disappointed those are amazing right, what's next all right we got the corn literal corn chips Frito Lay look Frito oh, yeah no kidding you just said ah oh, so we, we call them Lay's here so we call them like the brand's Lay's yeah Fritos literal this corn chips literal corn chips it's just in corn door door morokoshi I'm assuming yeah sweet corn and kombu something you're can't, it's like can't read one of the kanji so I don't, can't interpret it so let's open it and find out Try again and maybe it open like it. It smells like a fryer. Like a fryer? Yeah, oh, I don't like, like that smell. It Ooh. smells like oil. Mm. But they oil. might taste really good. Okay, so these, at least, in a, these are just twisties. These are just freaking twisties. My camera's not going to focus because it's too small, but these are just twisties. 100%. Let's try them, I guess. It sucks that this is what's hmm? washing down the apple pie, but you know. <laughs> womp womp. You must. Wait, wait. What? They're actually good. These aren't bad. These aren't bad at all. These smell disgusting, but they taste good. So what they, they are is they are Hokkaido soy sauce corn. You know, Hokkaido corn is widely loved by people of all ages using sweet corn powder and butter powder from Hokkaido. So yeah, sweet corn and butter, which is fair. Sweet corn's a pretty popular flavor over there. Yep. 
Those are actually quite nice. Like corn and butter are both just delicious things. If you're going to deliver them to me in chip form, I'm going to eat. For sure. For sure. I love, I only like corn on the cob though. If you take it off the cob, I don't like it. Oh, okay. Weird like that. <laughs> Oh, we have a few things. And, Alrighty. I know. I found I found some smaller ones at the bottom. Yeah, there. there's some small ones. Which one have you grabbed? Um, I have like Goku, Dragon Ball. I got Vegeta. You know, you got Gogeta maybe? Oh, mine's just not gonna focus. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. is, but it's cute. It's a little little guy. I'm gonna try to like scooch this out, maybe, so I can save the can save the um, save the wrapping. Yeah. Oops, there so we go. Can, like, why? Whoa, why it. was it so easy for you? I just pushed it through. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, well. You tried. You tried. tried. What's this? Oh. Closet it. So yeah, it's just like a. Because I squished it real good. It's gonna good. be a gum tree. Oh, okay. And they look like cow tails. What's a cow tail? Okay. Ew. Ooh, they do not smell like cow tails. <laughs> um. Oh. Cow tails are like they have the same consistency, except like they have like cream in the middle. Right. Okay. Well, let's try it. They smell like they smell disgusting. How dare they put Dragon Ball Z on this? It's like like ultra minty. You know those cheap candies, and you buy them because they come with a temporary tattoo you can stick on your skin. It tastes like one of those candies. Okay, not good. I didn't even swallow it. I spit it out. It was not. That was... Goku doesn't approve. No, why did they put him on there? That was deceiving and messed up. Um, Maybe it just tastes like... Takes like 10 episodes to taste good. Takes a couple episodes to taste good. The other small candy we have in here is like... Looks like a little stack of pancakes with butter on it. This one here? Absolutely. The Mont Blanc... Okay. Oh, Mont Blanc Choco. Says it's like a Mont Blanc. It's not going to focus on mine, does Let's it? There put this little guy in our mouth. Oh, it's hard. So it's like a chocolate? Yeah. Maybe? Choco. Mont Blanc Choco. Mont Blanc Chocolate. Oh, wow. Kaiwa ga something miso. Okay. Good for conversation. We don't focus on now. I got it out. Probably not. Hey. Wait, There's a lot of flavors going on. That changed flavor There's like three lot. times. What the heck? Mm hmm. There's coffee, chocolate, but Yeah, coffee, chocolate, burnt, and like buttery. Okay. Well, apparently that treat's very popular amongst children. It makes a classic Mont Blanc dessert shape, but in miniature form. Under the seal reveals a fortune. So mine had a fortune underneath it. Kaiwa ga, oh. some, so mine has something to do with like meetings or conversational meetings. Mine has a heart. I don't know what it says. Show it to me. I can try and read it. Well, I can't see that. But... Nah, sorry. Thank It's okay. There's a heart. Maybe it says that you'll find love forever. I'm gonna... That's what I'm going to say that it says. Just go with that. Congratulations. I'm going to talk. watching the YouTube and it actually says you're going to die at 25. Yikes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so we so have left. We have not many things. Okay. Let's do. Cool. Okay. So my one is this. Let's see what it says. Betsu. Betsu Jin. Kuku. Koku. 99. Betsu Jin Koku. 99. 99. And like, they seem pretty happy. So Giga Tax, as you said. Giga Tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Do you guys have nerds over there? Mm -hmm. It's a nerd. It tastes like a nerd. Like a big nerd, yeah. Yeah, it's a big nerd, yeah. It's just a giga nerd. It's a big old nerd. I met a couple of those back in my high school days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good. I can snack on those so and like, regret them. So it's like the same candy, but like yeah. a different packaging. Different packaging. So it says, yeah, drugstore capsule ramen. -o. Enjoy the capsule shaped fruit flavored ramen -o confectionery in a parody of medicine packaging. Oh! Giving drugs to kids, that's cool. What's the parody? It's fine, don't worry about it. It's Japan. Fake drugs. Giga. Right, so tax. Blue got cylindrical. Blue cylindrical thing, thing, yeah, with legs on it. Whoa, the dude on the right is freaking wired. Oh no, he's got like sports energy drink. He's ready to party. Candy. Does it say that somewhere? Yeah, yeah at yeah. the bottom. Right sports drink English. flavored chewing candy. Is this like G Fuel, but like chewier? <laughs> Japanese G Fuel. This will dissolve in your mouth better than G Fuel will. Yikes. Okay, it smells weird. So it's like a long light blue candy. It's got like white in the center. Yeah. Does this have caffeine in it? <laughs> One way to find out. I mean, and I'm going to have that coffee anyway, so it's not going to affect me too much. I think it must. It hasn't got much of a taste. It's like a hint of, hint of blue raspberry. Hmm. It's like shy blueberry. It's like diluted Gatorade. Yeah. Like if you like drink half your Gatorade bottle and then poured water in it. Yeah. So what it's it like is, not. is Kajirito sports drink and soda soft candy. Introducing Kajirito, a sports drink flavored. This two layer candy has a full fledged sports drink flavor and soda flavor to chew on, chew on for fuel. Cool. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> So then I guess we have, it's like a pH kit. Oh, so these ones are like, um, normally there's like one DIY snack in every crate, I oh think. Oh my God, cute. Okay, so make sure you watch me and Brad's other video in the future where we're going to be putting together this DIY candy kit. It's got a little Einstein on it, little pHs. Ooh, super cute. 
So now we have this drink. The drink, the last one. Um, Demon Slayer. So on it. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Is this Yaiba? Was a Demon Slayer coffee? So these have actually been really popular in Japan. They've been hard to find. Who'd you get? I got the pink haired girl. I don't oh, know yes. her name. I got. Oh mate, I've also forgotten names, but like um, one of the main I characters. <laughs> one of the main ones. Mm, yes. Now, um, oh, no, this, not. Is probably, this is probably like a very collector's item and we're probably going to make everybody cringe when we open and drink, drink it. This. That's fine. So yeah. is, this, is it just a um, coffee or it? So it's just a cafe or a coffee? coffee or milk. Are these shaken? Do you shake them before? No, you don't need to. No. Okay. It's just like blended okay. coffee. Have you had like a boss coffee or something before? No. Nope. Gotta fix that. Godlike stuff. So normally you'd have these, you can have these room temperature cold or hot. So they're rather thick cans because you can, you can buy them hot from the convenience store. So good okay. in a winter's day. Yeah, they are, they are thick. Yeah. It's quite common in Japan. You can get drinks served cold or hot. So I'm going to have a little bit of a sip of this. Shall we try it or you? We shall try it. Let's we try. will make all of the collectors cringe. Collectors, I'm sorry. It's for a good cause. I'm sorry. Keep the can. It, good. it does. I will keep the can collectors. No, worry not. Worry not. All right. Let's get Demon Slayer into our mouths. You must... It's sweet. It's nice, but it's not too sweet. I like it. Yeah, so it's a pretty typical cap, pretty typical cafe order style can coffee. I think it's a bit more mm -hmm. coffee tasty than the boss coffees. Boss coffees are a bit lighter. Um, mm -hmm. I drink a lot. When I'm in Japan, I'll probably drink two or three can coffees a day, which is very unhealthy, but I love them. And they're also like a dollar. It's good. It's a little can. My yeah. hands are small too. And like, look at how it like. <laughs> so you may have seen, did you, I'm not sure if you saw on Facebook maybe, where I posted like me with like two crates of these arriving. Uh-huh. Cause yeah, I, I order them like, cause you can get them in Australia. You, like there's an Australian company that make like Boss Coffee have an Australian division. So I could just order these by like the box full and I do. And that's why I can see through time and don't sleep. Oh God. Whoops. I would, I need to start doing that. Cute guys, empty box time. Box is empty. Mine's still got stuff in it, but it's fine. But it's like the stuff we've already had. But that was it. What are your thoughts? That was your first Japan crate, Ness. So what were your thoughts on it? I know. Okay, that was, this was my first Japan crate. I really liked it. I thought it was super cute. Um, all this stuff in it is really interesting. Some of it was kind of gross. Um, <laughs> but I really do love it. And I went ahead and when I initially got this one, I made sure to uh, pre-order a year's worth of this stuff. So nice. I will have um, at I least one of these videos out every month of me opening this. I'm gonna try to keep it relevant towards the month. So I'm gonna try to have each Japan Crate video upload it before the 15th. Yep. So that you guys can see what's up and up. Uh, so premium, man. Yeah. Uh, make sure you, uh, we'll leave the, the link down below where you can like pre-order this yourself and get it sent to your house. They're really nice. I really recommend it. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoy these kind of snack things a lot. That's why I have like four or five of them come to my house every month because I'm just hooked on these subscription boxes. I love snacks. So there's like, because that's from Japan. They do Umai Crate as well, which is the other one I do, which is just noodles. I know. I want to get the Umai Crate too. Cut noodles and noodles. Be... That was delicious and a lot of sugar for me to have at 3.30 in the morning. So I'm not going to go to bed yes. anytime soon. Hey. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. This was fun. We've been hey. trying to get this organized for a while. I know. And we finally did it. We finally we did, did it. it. By the time we get our videos uploaded, we will have the next crate. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. Like I, I got another <laughs> notification. We'll Dude. for one today for something else and was like i have two others to do i know the... i got emailed i got emailed and it was like your japan crate is on the way and i was like i should probably record and upload my november one before it's too late for slip so i guess we'll have more of these coming soon which would be good yep all right everybody that was the japan crate unboxing and kind of mukbang thing uh make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you also go over to bless's channel and make sure you also like comment and subscribe to him and watch his video too i'll be posting his link down below so that you can go and watch his because um there's also some stuff in his that um you're not gonna be able to see unless you watch his so make sure you watch his to find the rest of the stuff all right bye guys